We have the students and we have our teachers from Cardinal O'Hare High School in Delaware County. They just sent them to the classroom, the show where students go head to head with their favorite teachers. And Delco showed up to support these guys. Look at that lion, front row. Hey, big game today because we have cash and we have bragging rights on the line and both teams want it. But if we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. We're going straight to a pop quiz. mascot out there. That lion looks mean. I can't wait to meet that guy. Teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points for your team. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those 10 points. Pop quiz starts right now. In the novel, The Great Gatsby, what is the name of the narrator of the story? Nick Fitzgerald. Mr. Bonia, Nick Fitzgerald. Students for the steal. Tough story. We're throwing it back. We're looking for Nick Carraway was the last mm. name there. In the NFL, the city of Baltimore is represented by what team? Patrick. Ravens. Ravens, good. Which war is also referred to as the Great War? World War Mr. DeBonia, World War I is right. What 2018 movie is about the rock band Queen and its lead singer, Freddie Mercury? Mr. DeBonia again. Bohemian Rhapsody. What is the capital of Florida? Katie. Jacksonville. For the Steel Teachers, Mr. Coyne. Tallahassee. Tallahassee, there it is. In 2017, Twitter introduced longer tweets with how many characters? Katie. 200. For the Steel Teachers, Mr. DeBonia. 240. 280. That's a long tweet. What is another word for a female deer? Mr. Coin. A doe. Good. As of 2018, what is the most populated country on Earth? Patrick. China. China's right. How many obtuse angles are in an obtuse triangle? Katie. One. Good. James Harden plays on what NBA team, Mr. DeBonia? The Houston Rockets. Good. What is the full name of the person who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Katie. Francis Scott Key. Good. Chicken Fried, Highway 20 Ride, and Roots are songs by what country band? Uh, Mr. Devonia. The Florida Georgia Line. Students for this teal. One second. That's going to take it to the end of Pop Quiz. The Zach Brown Band. A little bit of chicken fried. What a start to Pop Quiz. Take a look at our scores. Teachers in the lead with 50. Students right behind them with 40. And man, do we have a big one on tap today. We have the students and teachers from Cardinal O'Hara High School in Springfield, Pennsylvania. Home of the Lions. I'm so glad you guys are here, Katie. This is awesome, and you got two great teammates here. To, uh, so I want to say welcome to the show. It's so glad you guys are here. I've never seen a contestant more pumped for victory. You came out here, I said, hey, have a good time today. You said, I'm not here to have a good time. I'm here to win. And I'm excited about that because you got three teachers over there who say, no, we're here to win too. So $500 in bragging rights is on the line today. If you win, where's that going to go? We have a student-run charity at our school uh, named after Danny Hammond, a foreigner student who passed away from childhood cancer. So we raise awareness and we have a big dance marathon. So oh, that's perfect. Where, what that's a great place to put go. the money if you guys win it. Well, good luck on that. Uh, listen, Tell everybody, I was going to write down, I got these cards right here, and I write down things, fun facts about them. I wrote, my card's not big enough, Katie, because <laughs> it's not big enough. Tell, tell these guys what you do. Um, I Just run, give a sampling. I run cross country, indoor and outdoor track. I'm in our school's fall and spring musicals. I'm in the choir. I, I'm a leader for Catholic athletes. Okay, I'm okay, a... and all right, all right. We get it. So, <laughs> this is insane. All right, give us the key. How do you keep up with that? Because I'd be dead tired after two of those. You gotta eat breakfast and get a full night's sleep. That's night. it? Yeah. That's the key right here. Eat breakfast and sleep. Yes. Two things I can promise I can do. Patrick, good to see you, my <laughs> man. You. you don't do all those things, but you have a pretty cool close encounter. Your 
11th grader this year, or excuse me, a 10th yeah. grader, which is crazy. He got all these other people to be on the show. And then you go, you go, so I'm, guys, I'm taking a full vacation. You've met somebody out there. What happened? So I was in uh, Yellowstone last summer, and on uh, a two-road, two-way street, it's one road the whole way, there were about 100 bison on the road. And about five feet away from me at, at the window was a uh, bison. They're probably I know exactly almost. what you did, because I would duck my head in horror. You got your Snapchat out. We're like, guys, look at this. It's a bison. There's no connection, though. Yeah, that's no a, connection. That's got, none, so you yeah. had to put it away. Yeah. All right, man. Well, good to see you on the show today. And Chris, my man, look at this guy in the end. Thanks for that trust fall. You did a great job. Uh, I hear you I'm, like to coach. Yeah, I do, I do. I'm not as interesting as them, but, you know, I, I do coach fifth I and sixth graders. Oh. <laughs> I disagree. Thank you. I, I do uh, coach fifth and sixth graders um, and for my JV team, and I tell them all the time, you got to play with heart. That's how you really play the game. So that's with this game, too. I'm going to bring my heart and play my heart out. What Woo! sport are you playing? Uh, basketball. Yeah. Uh, first of all, that's the coolest story ever, that you're already coaching at such a young age. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Listen, a lot today. Coach these two today to victory. we got a big yeah. 500 on the line. Let's do it, huh? Mr. Coyne, good to see you. We have three awesome teachers here today. Thanks for being on the show today. Sure. $500. You're a theology teacher. If you win, where's that going to go? Uh, Catholic Charities. Awesome. Perfect place to go. Uh, you kind of went to a big school. Where'd you go? Notre Dame. What's the best thing about going to a huge school like that? Uh, just meeting people from all over the world and exploring different uh, cultures and different personalities. You still love Notre Dame just as much? Still love it. All right, cool. Mr. Devonia, good to see a science teacher. You have a uh, new addition at home. Yes, uh, I have a 15-month-old at home. All right, so what's easier? You're going to be able to say this, being a new dad or wrangling 30 kids in the classroom? Uh, I will take 30 kids over my daughter any day. <laughs> I teach high school for a reason. Yeah, I got gotcha, you, man. That's tough work, and we're glad you're here. No kids today. You just worry yeah, about yeah. getting those answers right. Father John, good to yeah. see you. You're the campus minister. You've been a priest for seven years now. Yes, seven years. And yeah. what kind of things do you like to put into your school? I, I, I heard that the students were telling yeah. me you love to just get outside as much as you can. Yeah, um, so it's basically about uh, helping the students live their faith. Uh, we learn about it in the classroom, but... Uh, the campus ministry uh, provides opportunities for students to live out their faith, you know, through awesome. the different retreats, and Katie mentioned Catholic athletes and the different things that we do. Well, yeah. we got, listen, I, Katie's never had a detention in her life, but she might be getting one right now because we're playing detention. Let's go. Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. So, students, we're going to start with you guys. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass on a certain category. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. So be very careful. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention. They're going to win 40 points. Here we go. Categories math vocabulary. Ooh. We gotta, go. uh, we gotta take Calculus it. Here. In math, what is the term for the letter or symbol that represents an unspecified number? You can talk about it. Variable. Variable. Variable? Variable is right off to a great start. Detention. Okay, team camaraderie, love the fist bumps, but you guys have some work to do here because you have to choose one of these fine gentlemen we to know. send over yeah. to detention. Simple, simple, simple. Yeah, we talked about this, so it's going to be Mr. Debona. Mr. Debona, out of the game. <laughs> Leaving our minister and theology teacher. Why do you say this was simple? Why do you send Debona? We were doing some trivia on the way here, like just some fun and games. And he was crushing it? He was crushing it. All right, so. so get him out of the game. That's a good call. <laughs> All right, teachers, over to you guys. They have a plan. Hopefully you guys do, too. Categories, literature. That's up to you. Do you want to play a pass? <laughs> play. play. Okay. Who is the narrator and central character in Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island? <laughs> They're just nodding at each other. Do you I'm know? No clue. <laughs> Need an answer, guys? This is a tough one. We're not going to get one. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, unfortunately, we can't take that as the answer. Jim Hawkins is who we were looking for. Sure. So, guys, so good job for you. You didn't even have to pick up your buzzers to say anything right, but um, you got to pick somebody else off and send them to detention. Coin, coin, coin. coin. Okay, uh, bye, Mr. Coin. Okay. Mr. Coin, out of there. <laughs> That looks like it felt really good, guys. You could not wait to say Mr. Coyne's name fast enough there. Okay, Father John, we're holding it down over there, man. Right, you feeling go. like you can come back? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You got, you got three students over here, but the category goes to them, so we're going to have to wait on this one. Television. Mm. Feel good. Feel good. Yeah. All right, okay. 
I'm feeling it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. What TV series stars Andy Samberg and Terry Crews as members of the <laughs> NYPD? <laughs> well, and they look excited right now. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is right! Oh! Which means 40 points over to our students. Father John, you're going to detention. And the score stands 80 points for the students, 50 points for our teachers. Hey, you guys know what that is? That is called a student sweep. And we love that right here in the classroom. We have more games when we come back. Don't go anywhere. And hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and the teachers from Cardinal O'Hara High School in Delaware County. They're going head to head, and the scores, well, they're in the students' favor right now. You're in the lead, 80 points on the board to the teachers' 50, and there's still so much game left to play in this one. So we're going to see if the teachers can crawl back into it, see how well they spell. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, here's how the game works. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. We have your word to spell in 10 seconds to do it. You get it correct? Well, you stay in the game. But if you get a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team limits every other player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. The clock runs out. Each player left standing just for making it through the round, guys. We'll give you 10 points apiece. So let's do it. Let's play some spell check. Katie, we're going to start with you. We're going to break the ice here with motor. Motor. M-O-T-O-R. Good. Arena, Mr. Coin. A R E N A. Good. Salary. Um, S A L A R I E. Oh, he couldn't help you this time, Patrick. Idolize. I D O L I Z E. Teacher, stay perfect. Coaxed. Uh, C O. No. Oh. <laughs> Technically, Chris didn't actually get out at all. <laughs> there it is. Now he's out. Gesture. Uh, G E S T U R E. Good job. Fibros. Fibros. F I B R O S. Out of there, O-U-S. Katie, I'm so sorry. And guys, we are out of students just like that. Teachers, stay perfect. We had a sweep last round. We have a sweep this round. And it is all tied up at 80 points apiece. Students, 80. Teachers, 80. How you doing at home? You sweating yet? I know I am. Hey, come on back. Picture day is next, followed by that all-important final exam. So start cramming now. The classroom's still in session when we come back. to do that, but I gotta, I gotta go to your karate class. Hey, welcome back to the classroom, everyone home. Today we have students versus teachers from Cardinal and Harrow High School in Delaware County. I got to see this lion again. He's been rocking and rolling here with these toe touches, but so is this front row. Tell me right now, guys, you go to the school. What's the best thing about your school? Probably learning about my faith and getting closer to God. Okay, awesome. And you, uh, you got the pom-poms? You got a lot of school spirit? Yeah, all right, they're feeling it okay, yeah. All right, so you were going to be the alter today, just in case. Right. How are the kids doing? You feeling confident your students got this so one? So confident they're going to win. All right, so $500 on the line. Who's going to win? We're going to find out, and we're going to keep it going, because we have picture day next. So smile. It's time to play. <laughs> Never took a good picture in my life, I promise. Teams, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we're going to move three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify the picture, whatever that picture is. We're going to give you 10 points for doing it. If you get it wrong, a member on the other side can buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today. Here is our first beautiful picture. This person loved James Bond. Moving into clue number two. Did not get it under the buzzer there. He wanted to know what you can do for your country. Mr. Debonia. 
uh, JFK. Is that JFK? That's exactly who that is. Nicely done. John F. Kennedy looking great in that old-timey picture there. All right, moving right into picture number two. This star's 2017 memoir is a New York Times bestseller. This clue might help you guys. Three more boxes. She knows who bit Beyonce. Or it won't. Patrick. Tiffany Haddish. Is that Tiffany Haddish, New York Times bestseller? She knows who bit Beyonce. There it is, Tiffany Haddish. Patrick, big Tiffany Haddish fan? Uh, she's funny. You she's read her funny. memoir? No. Okay, good. Well, if you did, I have it. You can borrow it, take it home with you. Picture number three, guys. It's a tight 90 point game. Let's go. Clue number one. This was stolen in 1911. Chris. Mona Lisa? Is that Mona Lisa and was it stolen in 1911? Yeah, yeah it sure was. My man Chris, our coach. How did you know that one? I just guessed. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the painting. And that's why we love the classroom, because everybody is honest. That's cool. You could have guessed anything, but hey, you picked the Mona Lisa. Well, either way, that's going to get you 10 points. So nicely done, Chris. And not only does it get you 10, but that gives you the lead. 100 points on the board for you guys, 90 for our teachers. This is a nail biter. Both teams are going to have a chance to win this one, guys, because you know what time it is. Put the books away. No more studying. It's final exam time. Okay, the top of today's final exam is monuments and landmarks. Monuments and landmarks. How well do you know them? Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, 100 points to your score. Teams are going to work together during the commercial break, so no writing quite yet. Before we do that, I'm going to give you these questions. Question number one on the final exam. 25 windows and seven spikes top what copper U.S. landmark? Moving into that question number two. In season one, Phineas and Ferb remodel Mount Rushmore by carving whose face into it? We're looking for their name. Question number three. The Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, is located in what Asian country? Okay, we know the questions. How well they know them? Well, we're going to find out. We're about to put 60 seconds on the clock, and they're coming up with their answers. And I want you guys to come back, because we're going to see if the kids or their teachers are going to take that A, the bragging right, and that $500 back to their school. So do not go any for Someone is winning classroom today. I want you here. I know you want to be here. Here's how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have the students and teachers from Cardinal O'Hara High School going head to head. The scores, man, are they tight. Students in the lead, 100 points banked for you. Teachers, 90. Katie, you came here and you said, I'm not here to have fun, Richard. I'm here to win $500 and beat my teachers. You're doing okay. You're in the lead. You have final exam now. Do you think you can pull this out? We'll see. We'll see. Well, listen, <laughs> we're going to see right now because the time has come. We're going to get to these answers. The first question on the final exam, the topics today were monuments and landmarks. So each correct answer is going to bank you guys 100 points. Each one you get right. 300 points still left to be played. Let's see who did it. Let's see who aced this final exam. Question number one, 25 windows and seven spikes top what copper U.S. landmarks? Everyone knows this place. They love it. <laughs> or do they? Teachers, we're going to start with you. Father John? The Capitol Building. Capitol Building is incorrect, Father John. We're looking for the Statue of Liberty on that one. Oh. The Statue of Liberty. Copper Seven Liberty? spikes top what copper U.S. Copper. landmark. Uh, season one, Phineas and Ferb remodel Mount Rushmore by carving whose face into it. Teachers, we're going to stay with you. You're still trailing, so we need to get you some points. We're looking for their name. Perry the Platypus? 
Oh, dear Lord. Uh oh. <laughs> Teachers. Uh oh. Is what I'm going to say here because we are 0 for 2 moving into our final question. If you get this wrong, students, we don't see any of your answers because teachers just couldn't get it done here in the final exam. The Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, is located in what Asian country? You need this to stay in the game. You said? India. That's going to get you 100, brings you up to 190. And just like that, students, you have to get two of these right. 25 windows and seven spikes top what copper U.S. landmark? I you only need one. You said? Washington Monument. That's not going to get it done. In season one, Phineas and Ferb remodel Mount Rushmore by carving whose face into it. We're looking for their name. You get this right. You guys go $500 richer, this. and you're taking those bragging rights. Let's see it. This will get it done. Candace. Candace is going to get it done. 200.